Strange Land. Welcome back to the Chaos Asylum. I am your host of Chosen One, Lee Wyatt, and today we're going to try something a little different today. We're going to try the towers. We're not going to do the million dollar challenge yet. We're going to do that a little later. But right now we're going to do Starcade 86, the Nature Boy Tower. Woo! There is five matches. And if you don't know what these towers are, basically this is what's going to happen. The towers go like this. You start off in the beginning of a match. You wrestle, and whatever health you have in the first match, it carries over to the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, whatever match. You gotta go through, try and go through, and like beat all five matches. If you can't, say you're like, it may be like the first one, you can't do it. You gotta start back over. Say you're at the fourth one, you gotta start all the way back over. Cool thing is, you could carry your finishers over with you and everything. That is cool. I like that little concept and everything. So. If you can't see it. But yeah, you could carry finishers. Say you have three finishers. You could carry them over to your uh, previous basically uh, match and whatnot. So that's pretty cool. And I'm assuming that, that, that we're going to be the old school, like, you know, 80s, uh, what, was this in the 80s? Yeah, 83, Ric Flair. So this should be cool. And can someone give me a, a quick, like, test? Am I echoing? Uh, or am I being too loud? Am I too low? Can you hear the game? Can you hear me? Uh, let me know so I know what's going on before we get this tower started. Ray's Return, The Fandango, The UK Takeover, No Way, Page, what else we got? Let's take a look real quick. The Style Profile, The Dead Side, Raw, two, uh, Raw 2018, Shake Up, The Super Kick, The Sweet Chin Music, Lead us way, legend, legend Andre, legend Jericho list, legend Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh yeah, Women's Revolution three, Women's Revolution one, monsters, legend the people, uh, tower. Oh okay, tower of WWE, and Women's Revolution two. So I would, if I did this, it'd be that one, then that one, and this one. Oh wow, these are, all the difficulties change on them. Oh, hard, 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 normal, 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 wow. Easy, easy, easy. Oh, that's a legend, holy crap. That's craziness. All right. Okay. I think the uh, million dollar challenge is the one that has the most matches. Let's look real quick. Five, five. Okay, we got a lot of five sixes. Oh, wow, wait. Fourteen. Wow, that's a second. Twelve. Wow, that one has fifteen. Okay, that ties. That ties. Wow. Okay. All right, let's get into this. All right, what do we got? Ric Flair versus <clears throat> Rowdy Rowdy Piper. Normal match. Let's do yes. And we're only going to do it this way, too. We'll do a good amount of towers tonight. Uh, if I lose one and whatnot, we'll do it three times. And if we can't...
Can you hear me now? The following contest is a submission match. Oh boy. And from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 232 pounds. Here comes one of the absolute best, Rick ladies and gentlemen, Flair. Ric Flair, the dirtiest player in the game. This is going to be great. Okay, cool. Now, could you hear me fine without the headphones in, or did I have to plug the headphones in for you to hear me, Cheryl? <laughs> and his opponent from Glasgow, Scotland, weighing in at 230 pounds, Rowdy Roddy Piper. Uh, I heard you fine better with the headphones. I could still hear you without them. And he's all out okay. of bubble gum. Rowdy Roddy Piper, WWE Hall of Famer, one of the all-time greats. Claims he was born, guys, to cause controversy. <laughs> I believe that. Roddy Piper's entire career has been so we're Rick Flair. On being controversial. <laughs> and we're going to be when wrestling. You think you've got the answers. Hot Rod changes the questions. We're just basically going to be wrestling in a suit as Ric Flair. Oh boy, we are. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Woo! This will surely be a true mono a mono test. It's amazing. For more than 50 years, many women have entered this ring all in the name of greatness to see who is truly the best. I think when it's all said and done, we'll be talking about this match for a long time. And I wouldn't at all be surprised if this match stole the show here. The name Reversals. Jabor may be flashy with his robes and struts, but he's also all business in that ring. I can point to at least 16 times he's proven that. Driving his knee down. Oh, uh, setting up a better strategy here to take out the legs. Woo! Hey, yeah, baby. Down. Oh god. Ooh, right down on the knee. The human body can only absorb so much of that. Looks like he's starting to sweat now, but he's not appearing too worse for wear. At least not yet anyway. I wouldn't call for the medics just yet, Cole. He still appears to be in pretty good shape here. Oh, you can't run. Oh, that's one of the things on here. All right. Short arm. Way to hang on. Okay, what's this? Rick, what are you doing? I don't know what Rick you're saying, Chris. getting ready here. Woo! What's this? Oh, 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 no one does non it better. I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. This is a huge opportunity Woo! for Rick Flair. Many consider Rick Flair to be the greatest oh, no, we champion yeah. of all time. The standard bearer by hey, which all there, champions are true. measured. The Nature Boy also prides himself on being the dirtiest player in the game. This guy can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. Ric Flair is a force within the ring. He's not looking good here. Byron brought up Ric Flair's nickname as the dirtiest player in the game. Even though Flair is beloved, he knew when to cut corners, whether it be pulling tights, wearing brass knuckles, you don't or need to back run up to like win. Get, in for the you got this. Woo! Woo! No Woo! doubt about that one. Showing the Ryan Flair's Flair. chances just went from okay. bad to worse. Dang it! I don't like that system. He fights his way free, but how yeah. much energy did he exhaust fighting his way out? Oh boy. Right the top row. There he goes, crashing to the floor. 
Ow. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh man. Oh, he just DDT my butt. My ass. Uh oh. Woo! Don't you dare. Bringing it Go. back into the ring. Woo! Wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh. What's this? Lift and carry. Okay. Oh, look at it. My back! My lower back! God, oh, wow. what a stiff shot. And right on the mark. Momentum not on the Nature Boy's side. He came into this match expecting a fight, and that's exactly what he's getting. Well, he had to expect to take some punishment tonight. You don't step in the ring with this guy and walk away completely unscathed. Woo! If you look up the word champion in the dictionary, there should be a full-page picture of Ric Flair in his diamond sequin robe in that classic WCW World Heavyweight Championship. Yeah, he's one of the most energetic performers in WWE history. Now work on that leg. Ah, Not a bad ah. idea going to the legs here. Returning to your point about Ric Flair being champion, Michael, Flair's amazing body of work spans the globe and is the symbol of excellence in sports entertainment. Ronnie Piper. Incredible. Ronnie Piper connected with a match-ending move. Money. This is his opportunity to win this thing. Uh-oh. Boy, that Knock hit the mark. Hey. Strike right. Good that point. night. He's just playing classic offense here. How, are, how do you get a okay, so how do you get a finish? Flowers in with the axe handle. I mean I finished the like. Yeah, I was gonna see you say more. Message delivered. Come on, Rick, get up. Woo! Let's get that charge finished. Player is in position. Don't do it! God God almighty! He's, gonna make a he's not afraid to go hold for hold and wear down his opponent. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Let me tell you, that can cause some serious injury. WWE champions had to he had it locked up and made his opponent tap out. Woo! Uh. Here is your winner, the Nature Boy, Ric Flair. Put a check in the win column for Ric Flair. This win is exactly why so many superstars hope their number never gets called to face this guy. It'll be interesting to see the fallout following this big singles win here tonight. Good job. You won the first one. Woo! Yeah, you got four more to go. Woo! Good job, Rick. You're sweaty in your new, like, uh, you know, suit that you have there. Oh, buddy, old pal. What do we got? Okay, we got three and a half stars. All right. Who else next? Who we got now? Undertaker. Falls count anywhere. Ooh. This one, uh, the third one, obviously, is the much you mean. Yeah.
They say they always finish last, but badasses always kicking assholes' asses. The attitude may be a little different, but the results are the same. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, wait a minute. Pen or smashing? Okay. This match yeah, just might hate. set social media on fire. Oh, it's already trending. The nature boy may be flashy with his robes and struts, but he's also all business in that ring. I can tell like, you at least uh, 16 times he's proven that. Undertaker. Big evil himself. Well, thanks, Mother Trump. Ric Flair is not someone to sleep on. He hits a huge elbow drop. Woo! I don't know. What is a big back body drop? Oh, crap. I didn't know Ric Flair can do what the heck? Wait, 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 wait. Huh. Drop. That'll rearrange your face. Jeez, Rick, you got some moves I can yield there. Oh, there is my dude. Dragon through. screw. That'll tear your knee up. Is it working on that leg, Rick? Woo! Woo! Well, guys, the referee Rick. should have it relatively easy here tonight because, as you know, in a false count anywhere match, anything goes. The dragon screw takes him down. Oh, come on. Uh -oh. Huh. Got the leg. Oh, I oh, think this man needs true. business. Ooh, some fans might like my leg. My leg. It's something to work on, Rick. Look, Rick Flair is on the attack now. Hard to argue your take on this match, my Flair. Is it Rick Flair scores with a tremendous move? I'm not Woo! sure how much he has. Oh, oh, and a knee drop right to the jaw. But he's got to capitalize now. Yeah. Oh, shoulder first. And the ring just shifted. My leg. <laughs> Rick's cheating, ref. He's choking. Man, these legs. Wow, Working on the leg legs, Rick. Woo! Jeez. Woo! Working on the legs. Okay, let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Players in position to figure four. Woo! Wow, we might just be witnessing the end of The Undertaker. That's it. Flair just ended this. Uh, oh, crap. Oh, crap. Rat. He's got my leg. He breaks free. Roll out, Rat. Roll out, Rat. Roll out, my leg. My leg. Uh oh. Undertaker's mad. Undertaker is so mad right now. Uh oh. What? Oh, okay. Guys, the most important thing for a superstar to remember oh, in a false count what are you doing, match Tate? is that anything goes. And I do mean anything. I hope someone uses you as a weapon, Saxton. Huh. Ref! Ref, get over here. Oh, Shoulders are down. Kick out at two. Oh, that may have been a slow count. How do they do that? He's inflicting some serious pain here. As Byron mentioned, anything goes in this one, which means we're likely to see a work on this leg right here tonight. Woo! And keep in mind, Cole, the fact that there's no, no. disqualification also not means that anybody can interfere, and there's nothing you can do about it. Towers. Uh. Right, let's go to the. Uh... Got the leg. It's got to be hard to rebound from that one. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Will somebody please step in and stop this? You know, I'd say the Falls County kind of match was popularized back in the Attitude Era. Players in position. Wow, we might just be witnessing the end of the Undertaker. Penny and predicament. One, two. Real close. Two close. All right, all right. Wow. Ow, that hurt. 
Did it? As Byron mentioned, the Pat Patterson, Sergeant Slaughter alley fight, and many of the elements of a false count anywhere match. Most notably, I'd say, was the heavy weapon usage. Flair is in position. Dab that. Dab that. Ah, ah. One move after the other. It's devastating. Here's his moment, Michael. Oh, man, the entertainment. Oh, he got out of it. Now. He got out of it. Wow, he, he got, got out of it. Yeah, I'm not so sure he had it fully locked in. Oh, I think oh, this man is business. Get up, Rick, get up. Real quick, in case we have any newbies watching, a false count anywhere match means that this contest can literally end anywhere. Simple. Under what a leg drop. Well, there's only one thing left to say, guys. Rest in peace. Excuse me. A big the leg fuck? drop. Well, there's only one thing left to say, uh -oh. guys. Uh -oh. Rest in peace. That is exactly what The Undertaker needed. It is oh, crap. Oh, oh, Joe Slam tricked the hell. This is his opportunity to win this thing. Now. How in the world is Flair going to remain alive? Oh, boy. He is nope. Alive. Bad spot for him to be in here, guys. He's got to do something to get back in this Work thing. Work on that leg. So He's much pain. Some serious so pain. pain here. He's got the shoulders down. Flair's done it. I can't believe it. Here is your winner, the Nature Boy, Rick Flair. And there's your winner. The dead man has just been buried. Undertaker lost, and I can't believe it. What an effort we saw Another here. Way. Truly a great match. Woo! Yeah. Now we get a feast of macho man. Yeah, dig it. The Nacho Man. Normal match, all right. Undertaker was trying to come back. He didn't it change. <laughs> yeah. Woo! All right. It's a normal match. Gotcha. Starcade, 92. And his opponent from Sarasota, Florida, weighing in at 237 pounds, Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh yeah! Oh Get ready, guys. Big time singles matches coming up here. And I can assure you these two superstars have been waiting all day to get their hands on each other. Joe man, yeah, dig it. Pinfall or submission, normal match. All right. And there's the bell. And hey. here we go. This no is the type of bell that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. Oh man, this is gonna be great. Oh, the nature boy may be flashy with his robes and straws, Ooh, yeah. but he's also all business in that ring. I can point to at least 16 times he's proven that. Get up, Nacho Man. Uh-oh. I think Macho Man's gonna give me a run for my money. No. Nope. Look out! You might be in the beginning stages of an assault. Oh yeah. Rick, is this all you got? Like you work on these guys' legs that much? Jeez. Yeah, boy. 
Give me my moveset. Many consider Ric Flair to be the greatest world heavyweight champion of all time, the standard bearer by which all champions are measured. The Nature Boy also prides himself on being the dirtiest player in the games. That'll have you worrying about long-term injuries Woo! for sure. Oh, hit toss. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Byron brought up Rick Flair's nickname back. is the dirtiest player in the game. Even though Flair is beloved, he knew when to cut corners, whether it be pulling tights, wearing brass knuckles, or calling in back up like the four horsemen. It's not cheating if you don't get caught, Cole. And Ric Flair rarely got caught. He may be the dirtiest player. He's also a winner. <laughs> Have to think that's it. Yeah, do you think so? Do you, do you think that's it? It's not what I wanted to uh, back attack move, but all right. There's no more recovery stuff. from that. More lane stuff. Not your man. No count -out? What? Okay. Look, Rick Flair is on the attack now. Yeah, right, right. He's out there in no man's land. They've got to find a way to get the safety pole. I'm not sure he can. The nature boy is going all next round on him. What does Randy Savage have this to do with this point match, to stay in the match? Not counting. This match is definitely testing his okay, metal guys. Well. Nothing good happens outside the ring. Which is why I love it when guys go out there. Things are going to heat up now, fellas. Fall over. Whoop. Whoop. What's coming next? Look out. Rick no, not the outside. No. Not on the outside. Oh, oh awesome. Right to the jaw. Right to his face. Jeez, and I don't like Randy Savage's chances in this one. Charge damage. Charge damage. Woo, woo. Flares in the figure four leg lock. Woo. Is that it? Is it over? Ah, ah, ah. Savage can't be feeling good right now. Tonight may not be his night, guys. Oh, yeah. man, what a beating he's taken. My you legs, can see the lights are on, but legs. clearly nobody's home. Woo. You've got to believe this one's over. Ric Flair is not someone to sleep on. Thinking of big moments in Randy Rick Savage's career, not someone to sleep I think on. of WrestleMania 3, when he and Ricky the Dragon Steamboat stole the show. Uh, I'm not sure Savage wants to remember the match because he ended up losing, but it is considered to be one of the greatest matches in WWE history. It may be one of the first show-stealing performances at a WrestleMania, too. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. The beat down on the Inject outside. Opinion, he goes for the cover. Dug down deep and gets no, the shoulder okay. up. He's still in this. No way. Simply destroying the back. Well, what's this move? Oh, reversal. Randy oh, Savage just arm. too fast for him. Oh, God. I thought I reversed that. Oh, Ooh. I think this man needs business. Momentum oh, not poop. on the Nature Boy's side. Stuff's coming up quick. At this point, it's all about Ow. how he responds and potentially rebounds. There have been a uh -oh. lot of... Will it be? One. They're going to catch him off guard there, I guess. The Nature Boy staying in this match with that kick out. Ooh, you better get He's out. inflicting my face, some my serious face. pain here. Oh, boy, he is rolling. What's going on? Look I'm pushing the button. Yeah. Putting it all no. on the line. No, 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 no. Great, get up. Randy Macho Man Savage is one of the most intense and unpredictable competitors to ever enter the ring. What? Too late. That might what? just be the final nail in the coffin. Yeah. Oh God, he might have Randy this. Savage's wedding. It isn't a, a Macho Man. He misses oh, the dive. He missed. And unfortunately for him, there was no water in the pool. Ooh. Somebody stop this. Breath. Got the shoulders down. Just before three. That was real close. Yeah, there's a reason they call him Macho, folks. And you just saw it right there. Great offense by Randy Are Savage. You kidding me? 
Oh, and he connects. I mean, like no don't you dare lose the clothesline. Oh, God. Two. And he gets the shoulder up. Ric Flair never ceases to amaze me. Well, what the hell is that? That's how you wear down your opponent. Yeah, it is. Randy Ow. Savage with the offense. I'm hitting a reversal button, but it's not even, like, doing anything. Oh, and he hits the axe handle. Oh, yeah, he says. Oh, uh -oh. Rick, now get up, Rick. Now it's not even showing. Now, we have well, now it Savage shows. On the attack. Really? Great offense by Randy Savage. I swear. Got the reversal. Pin him. Yeah, the build Here's up. The Too close for cover. He can't let that happen again. How'd he do that? Uh-oh. So he's what? unleashed the X. Savage. What's going on here? Now we have Randy Savage on the attack. No, no, no. Don't you dare go for this combo again. Rick, Rick, roll out. What's this? Wait. Payback uh, by holding R1 and L2 to these. Oh. At some point, the referee may want to think about stopping this one before somebody gets seriously injured. He thinks he has it. Yeah, he's one of the most energetic performers in WWE history. Fine. And there's a kick at it, too. How'd he do that? Randy Savage. What the? Just Why are you not running on Tony? Oh, What's going on? I'm a little confused. Randy what? Savage with the offense. I'm pushing it like at the time it wants me to. What's going on here? Randy Macho Man Savage is one of the most intense and unpredictable competitors to ever enter the ring. What's this? What are we going for? My finisher again? Oh boy. Ric Flair is the figure four. That should end Macho Man's night. Clearly not afraid to go to the well again. No, 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 no. Rick, get out of it. Rick. He broke out of it. Cole, okay. how in the world did he okay, find okay. the energy Come on, to that do that? Rick. Are you kidding me? Now we have Randy Savage on the attack. What is, I, it's like I can't get my own. Oh boy. Randy Savage Ow. with the offense. He goes, Rick, reverse. Dang. He's going for the pen. Uh -oh. This could be it. And he manages to get the shoulder up. And the Flair family jewel continues to what? shine. When this guy's on, look out. Randy Savage. His shoulders are down. He may be upset. Real close. Too close for comfort. He's still in this. Uh, let's see. You made Macho Man. Oh. Oh, A well-placed kick. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Nobody controls the pace of a match. Oh, of course. Quite like this guy. Yeah. Great offense by Randy Savage. A high-risk maneuver in the works from that top turnbuckle. Yeah. Look out. No. Pen him. Rick, pen him. He's got him covered. Two. What is Are keeping this competitor me? going? Just Pretty when he thought it was over. Don't want to give up. He does not want to give up. One. Two. And he got a near fall out of it. How'd he do that? Man, Rick, stop complaining about this. Close line! Oh, that'll leave a mark. Rick, down. Jeez. Here we go. On the outside. Yeah. From what we've seen and heard tonight, there must be serious injuries. Huh? Well, Rick Flair is on the attack now. Dropped by a clothesline. Oh boy, he is rolling. 
Are Showing you kidding me again? You, you did it again. Again. No, you don't. No. Oh, bull crap. Both these superstars appear to be operating he on has fumes FD. here, guys. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Nope. Get back in the ring, Rick. Macho <sighs> At this point, it looks like even the winner of this match will walk out of here beaten and battered. <laughs> so far, Macho Man's like my greatest. What are you doing? Wrong way, you eel. So stupid. Are you kidding me? He's making I a push. statement here with this attack. Oh boy. Oh boy. Out, 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 out. Yep. Just follow the ring. There we go. How are these superstars even? Look at this. Uh, going to the top. High risk. Inside the ring now. Incoming. Bull crap. Oh boy. Oh no, 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 no. The Macho Man. Yeah, he's one of the most energetic performers in That's WWE. The same that you're doing. Why don't you just? And he's able to get out. The Macho Man kicked out. He kicked out. Oh yeah. Ric Flair is getting ready here. And that should end Macho Man's night. Even better. This can he score the pin? One, oh, two. And he got a near fall out. Of Are it. you the kidding me? He kicked out! Oh, yeah! Wait, what? Ric Flair is getting ready here. Clearly on a mission here. That's what he was looking for, Michael. He releases it. And you can debate whether or not that would have been the end. Interesting decision there. That should do it right there. Two, three. There's the pinfall and the victory. That was close to being a draw, ladies and gentlemen. Here oh is my your winner, God. the Nature Boy, Ric Flair. Huge victory tonight for Ric Flair. Hey, they both gave it their all, but in the end, we were left with the best man standing. East Rutherford hasn't sat down since the bell rang. I think they're in awe over what they just saw. About time. Woo! Who's the, oh, boy. Oh. Four star rating. Instant classic. All right, who's the next person? Ricky the Dragon, Steamboat, and then Dusty Rhodes. What kind of match? Steel Cage. I've never done a Steel Cage. Oh, shit. Um, this is going to be interesting. Very, very interesting. Good match. I thought Macho Man had you. Me too. This is interesting because I've never done a steel cage on this one before, so, oh boy. Steel cage, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. A true pioneer! And his opponent, from Honolulu, Hawaii. 235 pounds, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. When a superstar enters the ring to go up against the likes of Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, they're entering battle against one of the most decorated and revered competitors ever.
submission only? What? Feel cage action kicking off here, guys. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat has oh. defeated opponents of all shapes and sizes while holding several singles and tag team championships. Yeah, the lightning speed, the martial arts expertise, and the fire to go well beyond the limit. The Dragon what? has it all, Saxton. Oh boy. I don't like this. What? Rick, what are you doing? Ricky the You're getting your butt kicked, got Rick. Him there. Why does Rick only have three reversals and Drinky's got four? How fair is that? Nice leg pick. That's it. Work on those legs. Rick Flair is a force within the ring. Are you kidding me? This one's gonna be tricky. Oh boy. Now I basically gotta let him beat on me. Because I have no more reversals left. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat is Why did I have a feeling that Ricky was gonna be the hardest one? Oh boy. Think this man means business. Feel up. Yes. Momentum not on the nature boy's side. He's gonna want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. You hate to think this way, but part of me thinks he might be over his head inside that steel cage. This is all part of the process, guys. He knew he would take on some offense here tonight. He just has to make sure he keeps it to a minimum. I'm getting destroyed right now. Really testing his resolve here. I push the button. Wait, hello. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat with the offense. And it's Ricky the Dragon Steamboat floundering some. This could be the start of an ugly downward spiral if he's not careful. Hey, oh. you're going to absorb the figure four leg lock. That could be a game changer. And he breaks free just when you thought he was out of this one. And it hurts your leg more than it hurts him. Are you kidding me? So I damaging. think Ricky's got me on this one, guys. Jeez, incredible. We're witnessing a level of punishment that can only be described as severe. Looks like Ric Flair is fading here. Oh, I'd say he's kidding me. Come on, reverse Rick. I'm pushing it this dang This really has gotten the best of him tonight, so... Ricky the Dragon Steamboat! Creeper hold the pun! Can he finish the job? But now can Ricky the Dragon Steamboat capitalize? Talk about sending a message. What power, what a slam, what damage! the Dragon Steamboat looking a bit uneasy here. Many consider Ric Flair to be the greatest World Heavyweight Champion of all time. The standard bearer by which all champions are measured. The Nature Boy also prides himself on being the dirtiest player in the game. brought up Ric Flair's nickname is the dirtiest player in the game. Even though Flair is beloved, he knew when to cut corners, whether it be pulling tights, wearing brass knuckles, or calling in backup like the Four Horsemen. It's not cheating if you don't get caught, Cole. And Ric Flair rarely got caught. He may be the dirtiest player. He's also a winner. Rick, will you get up with Jeez. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Look here. Oh, for the love of people. We, thank you, Rick. A quick reversal by Ric Flair. And Ric Flair makes him pay in the worst way. Does he ever? To borrow a line from you. No one does it better. Now it's time to capitalize. Now Ric Flair needs to capitalize on this opportunity. 
He's got it locked. He's what? just oh, he's his resiliency. That's what he did. Okay. What a comeback. Signature slam. The damage has been done. Drop down. Punishing attack on the body. Riggy the Dragon Did Steve Ellis, of course, like within the, the, the ring. Oh my this is Are what you makes kidding? him one of the best. He's in the allowed business. to escape? Oh. <laughs> oh. And Ricky Sebo too quick that time. Absolutely oh. sudden. Here's the dragon. Ricky the dragon Steebo. Sleeper hole applied. But can he follow up here? He's out. He escapes the hold. Not a moment too soon, Cole. What are you doing, Rick? He lands the ah. strike with great accuracy. And no luck against Flair there. Are you surprised? Oh boy, he is low. Look out. Rick Flair is measuring. Woo! To borrow a line from you, Cole, that's vintage Rick Flair right there. Flair is in position. Woo! That's it. It's over. It's over. The bar on the line from you, Cole. That's vintage Ric Flair Are you right there. Me? Talk about a yeah. painful move. An incredible chop. And he's I'm taken down the authority. I think I felt the ground shake. No, no, no. Are you kidding me? Get out of it. Oh my god. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat wins. Here is your winner, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Gonna feel the effects of this win for a while. Oh, As a risk of getting Christ. ahead of myself, if this guy keeps winning matches like that, we better reserve some room for him in the Hall of Fame. Oh, okay. Do it again. These ones are different. Okay. I thought you had to start all the way from the beginning. A true pioneer! No, nope, we heard his music already. I thought you had to start from the beginning on this one. I guess it's only for, uh... What's it called? I guess it's only for the uh, what's it called? Million dollar challenge. Are you can lay kidding claim me? To be oh, the greatest nope. of all time with a 16 time champion Ric Flair makes a very good case. Woo! And there Thinking about a submission here, case. Okay, what's up? He forces his way free. Man, he just has so much resolve. Hooked up. I don't like that yellow already on my head. What? This is a level of destruction no one was expecting. Oh, Matt Slam with some attitude. Where's the reversal? See, and sometimes too, they don't even show like the reversals. Like the reverse button. Like, uh, excuse me. Like, yep, nope, sorry. Knee stop! That'll ruin your leg. Oh, okay. 
That's a good way to knock a bone out of socket. What is my work with that? Snap mare. You have to possess a different type of focus to punish an opponent like this. Are you is not someone to sleep on. He's focusing on the face now. Flair is in position. <laughs> Ric Flair scores with a tremendous move. Is it enough, though? Can Steve pull through? There's a certain feeling that comes over. Oh, and he slips out. Wow, looked to me like he had it locked in pretty good. I guess not. And no luck against Flair there. Are you surprised? Here we go again. He gets it with the reverse. I have to let him beat down on me because of the reversals. Hard. Shit. Come on. So this thing takes forever. Jeez. You can bet his Let's choice go. will be aching after that. You spoke about this earlier, Corey. It's crucial for a WWE superstar to fully understand the gravity of the situation they're in when they battle inside a 15-foot-high steel cage. An individual must be ready to endure pure brutality and prepared for the fight of their life. No one leaves a steel cage match without scars. Corey, you said something of value for once and that anything is legal inside the steel cage. Ric Flair is getting ready here. Woo! Oh, no one does it better. I'm not sure how much he has left. Hopefully, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat can recover. Most WWE champions had to Are overcome you? a single opponent to claim the biggest prize in the game. Some had to overcome a triple threat. A fatal look at Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat! Sleeper hole of blood! Wow, the crowd's on the edge of their seats. Ric Flair's in a real bad spot. I knew How is he like stronger than time. like whatever? Like I feel like I've been attacking him more than he's been attacking me, and he's getting like more damage. Oh God! Ric Flair's performance at the 1992 Royal Rumble. He literally no, no, outlasted no. everyone since he entered the match. At no and he escaped the submission. And good thing that could have been disastrous. Match slam with some attitude. Steamboat in incredibly bad shape right now. And I wouldn't be surprised if he had... And he breaks free just when you thought he was out of this one. Are you kidding me? Look at the Dragon Steamboat with the offense. Jeez. Come on. Oh, that was a hard shot. What a strike. Great, come on. Not for the lower feet. Looks to me like these superstars are running off fumes right about now. What? Ricky the Dragon Steve wow. got him there. Yeah, I'm curious to see how long his stamina can hold him. It's all academic from here. Oh, it's uh, pretty fun. Interesting decision here, Corey. I don't know. I kind of like it. He clearly wants to inflict some more punishment. Knocked off his feet. Now that's a takedown. And Ricky Sebo too quick that time. Absolutely sudden. Oh, oh what incredible too late right adding wow, What a vertical yeah. suplex. Yeah, he's one of the most energetic performers in WWE history. Nicely executed. Ric Flair is getting ready here. Woo! And Ric Flair makes him pay in the worst way. Does he ever? This is not how the Dragon saw things playing out. Oh man, I'll tell you, it didn't look any less yeah, this than the second time. Right? I know I've got it a couple times, but jeez. And Ric Flair reverses it. And Ricky the Dragon Steamboat reverses it. Yeah, I'm curious to see how long his stamina can hold here. 
Ricky Steamboat may have it. What's this? Down, slam, slam, free fall. What? The Nature Boy is in a that. tough spot here. Oh, crap. Yeah, Nobody oh, comes back Lord. from this. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat is a force within you the ring. have me again. Ricky, what are you doing? Incoming. Rack again. He gives rack. He'll be feeling the effects of that for a while. Looking to end this thing. Can they step through? Yes. Of course. Yeah. He somehow breaks free. Nice, but he clearly has next to nothing left to give here. Oh. oh, I think this man needs business. These might be ones we need to come back to. Oh, God. This kind of offense he's known for. Ricky, what are you doing? Look out! What? Running power slam! That kind of Somebody like unleashed a vicious oh. dragon out there. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat with the offense. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat got him there. I don't get one of them. How do you make an game. impact? What? Oh, yeah. Look at this! Oh, you got me on that one. Jeez, come on, man. Yeah, he's one of the most energetic performers in WWE history. Close line! Well, that'll leave a mark. Players in position. Uh-oh. Oh, and a knee drop right to the jaw. This is not how the dragon saw things playing out. What? No, it's not over Did yet. Hear... Wow. Part of me thought he was gonna tap both. Yeah, I'm curious to see how long his stamina can hold here. Are you kidding? Did he use his resiliency? I'm curious, man. Dragon Steamboat with the offense. Oh, God. No, no, Rick, get Rick. And he finds a way free. Wow. That was just pure determination, Cole. Oh, and he reverses it. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat! Sleeper hold the pun! To think, I almost wrote him off earlier. He's out. He escapes the hold. Not a moment too soon, Cole. Down he goes with the scoop slam. Oh wow, Ricky's got three finishers? Jeez. Boy, this has just been pandemonium. <laughs> Look, Rick Flair is on the attack now. Flair is in position. The figure four! <laughs> but I don't know how much gas he has left, guys. Look out, that can break bones, guys. Yes! Ric Flair looked impressive tonight.
Here is your winner, the Nature Boy, Rick Flair. It's all over, and Rick Flair stands victorious. Mothers, lock up your daughters. Rick Flair will be a style and a profile after that win tonight. Come on, Corey. Woo! It's decidedly less cool than you say it. East mm -hmm. Rutherford hasn't sat down since the bell rang. I think they're in awe over what they just saw. All right, ladies and gentlemen, even though I had to do that for a second time, this one you can keep moving on. And so, the next one is Dusty Rhodes in the final one. Instant classic. Hell in a Cell. All right. Oh, wow. This is going to be interesting. And from Austin, Texas, weighing in at 275 pounds, the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. Stakes are high here tonight, guys, for this ever-dangerous hell in a cell match. That's right, Cole. There is so much more than a win on the line here tonight. We're also talking about these superstars' well-being that's at stake. <laughs> we can dream. All right, we beat Dusty Rhodes here. We beat this, uh, the Nature Boy Tower. Pinfall or submission? Okay, cool. Oh wow, we both start with the finisher. <laughs> During the 1980s, the flamboyance and flash of Nature Boy Ric Flair clashed with the epitome of the Holy working man crap. and the American dream. Dusty Rhodes. Dang, the Dusty. For the World Heavyweight Championship redefined the NWA. It was the classic clash of good versus evil, Michael. The rivalry reached such hostility that the boxing legend Smokin' Joe Frazier served as special guest nope. referee for their match at Star Dang, Dusty fucked me up. What the? And I think it's safe How to How did see. you reverse that when you have no reversals? What? These competitors will never be the How same. How is that possible? He had no reversal. Returning to the Flair Rhodes rivalry, Byron, the confrontations were so personal they caused other competitors to be swept in its undertow. I am Flair so confused Rhodes right now. Four horsemen and the American Dream enlisted NWA's most popular stars like Magnum TA and Nikita Kovac. The bionic elbow from the Dream. And put it in your wheel. Here's a chance to win this. What the? Dusty Rose with the victory. I am so confused of what just happened. How? Here is your winner, the American Dream. What? How could? What? I am so confused. How can you reverse if you have no reversals left? He had zero reversals left, and then he was just destroying me. Like, what? What is this, on legend mode? What the hell? One of the that. most epic robberies that redefined sports entertainment was the grueling battles between the American... Okay, let's see. Um, slam your opponent into the wall while damaged... Uh, uh, the wall while... <coughs> wall will break you also you can also use your epic oh my god moment skill to break through the cage after the uh, cell wall has been broken press r1 i mean l1 as you walk through the to exit the cell dream dusty roads and the nature boy rick flair the roads flair encounters were the epitome of good versus evil Dusty was the common man, and Flair celebrated greed and materialism. Oh boy. 
He's inflicting some uh, dang, serious pain here. Kick. Why is my health down so low? What? Whoa, is that one of the things? Like, my health's down really low? I'm so confused nice what's going on right Dusty now. Rhodes there. No. We've got a cover. No trouble getting out of that one. The Nature Boy staying in this match with that kick out. Executed. My reversal is sucking tonight. What the fuck? Look at this. And a kick out. Much to nobody's surprise. Your flair never ceases to amaze me. Offense like this is exactly how a competitor takes control of a match. Nice job by Dusty Rhodes there. Back between the ropes. You're not down for that long. Come on, Rick. He just got thrown into the ring. Are you kidding me? Dusty Rhodes may have it. Boom! Bionic elbow. This is he all might have it over. now. He's going for the pin. Are you kidding? The cover. And this one's history. What a win. Here is your winner. I am like so confused of what's going on. Is my health down that low? And he like is reversing everything I throw at him. Ugh. Ugh. One of the most epic robberies that redefines world's entertainment was the grueling battles between the figure four Whoa! You have to like his chances here. No, he lets him out. Yeah, I think he knew he wasn't going to get the submission there. What is nice everything? Out of the way what, of that and how do, wait, my question is, how do they get so many? I don't want to know what that one, feels two, like. One, two, three, four, five? Five. He's got five Boom, reversals, right and I only got three? What? That's kind of cheap. course guys we all remember that whoa he gets out of it he's at another level right now Michael he's just so dominant Ric Flair is not someone to sleep on oh man right on the top of the head what does Ric Flair so need to do now to remain a okay, factor they, like, in this match this one, like, I don't think this is how he envisioned this match going here tonight He's definitely hurting right now, Cole. But he knew exactly. They definitely gave this one a handicap really bad. As Mike was saying, barely I any will help. never forget the Mankind Undertaker match. Just the sight of Mankind flying through the air is something that would be ingrained in my memory forever. Yeah, and while Mankind's the story of that match, I think a lot of people forget it was actually Undertaker who walked out of that match victorious. He's too quick for him there. He'll be feeling the effects of that for a while. Gentlemen, I think we can all agree that we've seen some pretty special moments over the years. But Dusty Rhodes may have it. Are you he kidding me? The heat at He's got it again. Wow, look at that combination punch. This one's over, guys. Are you watch out? From what we've seen and heard tonight, there must be serious injuries. A quick reversal by Ric Flair. What? Recalling that first ever Women's Hell in a Cell match, I gotta say, the ovation Sasha Banks received that night was among the loudest, and Dusty Rhodes makes the cover. You can't teach the type of tenacity we're witnessing here. Unreal. I can't believe what we're seeing here. This one's a bit frustrating, to be honest. I did. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Not where he wants to be right now. Hey, he got himself into this mess. Well, he's got to get himself out of it now. Real quick, let's remind everybody that there are no rules inside of Hell in a Cell, meaning the referee's sole job in this match is to call for the bell following a three count or submission.
Flair is in position. Just as important as Byron's point about there being no rules inside the cell. He locks in a torturous figure four. That's how you put an exclamation point on a match. And Ric Flair reverses it. Hoping to end it here. This is it. A quick kick out from Dusty Rhodes. Wow. Rick, get up. Don't worry. Come on. Jeez. There we go. Work on it. Using his feet right there. Warm up the buses. This one's over. Nobody controls uh, the pace of a match quite like this guy. Yeah, he's one of the most energetic performers what? in WWE history. One move after the other. It's he's got devastating. Me because I have no reverses left and I face Dusty Rose may have it. Yep. Shit. He's got Michael. me. I... Shoulders down. This could be it. Wow, yeah, that's what. That, that he didn't win this that match right there. Wild. Not yet. <laughs> nope. Gets out of the way of that one. Ric Flair is a force within the ring. Look out! Ric Flair is measuring. Nicely done. That you might just be the final nail in the coffin. Now, but... Okay. You I really can't believe what's here. gone down so far. This match has been even more physical than I thought it would be. Uh, what are you trying to do? This And Fine. no luck against Flair there. Are you surprised? Watch out, that was power on top of more power. What a slick. Looking for all the glory here. Two! And he got a near fall out of it. There is no quit in this man tonight. Nope, reverses it. Flattens him with a bulldog. Oh, God. No. Nice job by Dusty Rhodes there. When this guy's on... Look out. You have to possess a yeah, different type it. of focus Come to punish on. an opponent like this. No. He's got him down. This is it. Two. Three. There's the pin. It's over. It's all over. Here is your winner. One of the most epic robberies that redefined sports entertainment was the grueling battles between the American Dream Dusty Rhodes and the Nature Boy Ric Flair. The Rhodes Flair encounters were the epitome of good versus evil. Dusty was the common How did I go man, down that much? And Flair I had celebrated green. greed and materialism. If you haven't hit record yet, now might be a good time to do that. Oh, These guys are going to have a match you'll want to watch over and over again. Ric Flair is not someone to sleep on. This match has the potential of breaking down out here near the steel structure. Many consider Ric Flair to be the greatest world heavyweight champion of all time, the standard bearer by which all champions are measured. The Nature Boy also prides himself on being the dirtiest player in the game. Oh, I think this man means business. Ric Flair is a force within the ring. Byron brought up Ric Flair's nickname as the dirtiest player in the game. Even though Flair is beloved, he knew when to cut corners, whether it be pulling tights, wearing brass knuckles, or calling in backup like the Four Horsemen. It's not cheating if you don't get caught, Cole. 
And Ric Flair rarely got caught. He may be the dirtiest player. He's also a winner. He's making a statement here with this attack. Look, Ric Flair is on the attack now. Flair is in position. Here's his chance. This is a huge opportunity for Ric Flair. Shoulders on the mat. Of course, guys, we all remember when the Hell in a Cell debuted in 1997 and how harrowing the structure looked. But it's worth noting that the Cell has become even more ruinous in recent years. How much more he like damage would be compared to like when you know, I hit point about the cell evolving in recent years is absolutely right. In fact, Byron, the structure is now well over It's like they get dusty all these like... I believe that's more than twice as heavy as the original cell, Michael. And believe it or not, it's it? increasing like more resiliency and everything to me. Because he hits me just once and I saw that I had green and it just disappeared. Like, what the... He's too quick for him there. Finish. What can Ric Flair do here to help the odds for success? He'll need to find a way to turn things around here. Oh, man, his chances are dwindling quickly. He's just taking on so much punishment. Guys, we oftentimes talk about the dangers of competing inside Hell in a Cell. Well, let's not forget these competitors aren't the only ones in there. It could be just as dangerous for the official as well. Ric Flair is not someone to sleep on. I agree with Michael's point on the danger of this match. I mean, the environment is so brutal for all involved. Just go back to look at referee Tim White after he officiated one of those matches. Yeah, he was never the same after that. In fact, White said Hell in a Cell ruined his life. When this guy's on, look out. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Ah! Ah! <laughs> rolled out. Rolled out. I rolled out. Rolled out. At this point, it looks like even the winner of this match will walk out of here beaten and battered. Ooh, there's the breaker. What the? He's making a statement here with this attack. Are you kidding me? What? How are you reversing almost everything I'm throwing at you? Like, like seriously? <laughs> Dusty Rhodes may have I didn't it. even get a chance to it didn't even show a reversal. And for Flair, his back ripped oh, executed. Can. But can he follow up here? This could do it. Two. And they kick out at two. There is no quit in this man tonight. Come on. Nope. Nope. Reverses it. Disqualify this man. He's got the victory. Here is your winner, the Nature Boy, Rick Flair. That's a big win. Although there was a moment there where I thought it was going to go the other way. Wow, I can't believe the amount of punishment that had to be inflicted in order for those shoulders to stay down. Oh, my God. East Rutherford hasn't sat down since the bell rang. <laughs> I think they're in awe over what they just saw. Woo! It might have took me a couple of Dusty, but it was complete. Yeah. First tower complete. Let's go with the girls real quick. Okay, so you got to be. Yeah, we do a girls one real quick. I think this one was a five match one too. Oh, I get the pick. Oh, uh.
Let's go with a little Miss Bliss. Alexa Bliss would toss glitter and smile and make you feel good. Time for the women to I like show the days better now, how it's done. You are not allowed to make direct eye contact with the goddess, Saxton. That way she never looks at me. Byron, time to put your hair up and square up. Well, you don't have any hair, but you get the point. And her Shimon, New Jersey, Sonia Deville. Every time you see Sonia Deville step in the ring, she improves a little bit more. She's a little bit faster, a little bit tougher. The sky is the limit for this lady. Tony Deville, she's made history milestone. She competed in the first ever women's Royal Rumble match, Elimination Chamber match, even the WrestleMania. What's the uh, objective here? Pinfall or submission? Normal. Okay. Huh. Ooh. Finally, these two are in the ring where their grudge can get settled. No more excuses. We're going to find out who the better superstar is. Settle in, guys. This is going to be a blast to watch. Settle in, boys. Let the lady show you how it's done. Oh, no. Come right. here. Kicks out on a pinfall attempt. Not yet. Not sure why, but she releases the hold. I think she sensed her opponent was about to break free. She's not playing any games tonight. Everyone better watch out. Even me. Oh, what a forearm. That was dirty. Things starting to go the other way for her. But you can bet she has plenty of fight in her. Such a mouth breath. Better move there. Getting away with that one. She can't get away with this for much longer. Little Miss Bellicious. Wow, that she goes for the cover. Come on, how is she still going here? Gonna take more than that. That shot landed on her and was a direct hit. The human body can only absorb so much of that. Oh, she finally reversed something. Dang! Ow. You feel frothing skull. Oh, dang. Repeat it, punch it. No, throw it now. That's it. Roll up. Well, that's one way to surprise an opponent. Scoot slam! Not looking good for her right now. And you can't help but wonder how much of this she can sustain. It looks to me, guys, like she may have underestimated her opponent here tonight. And now she goes for the cover. Breaking a sweat, 
This one is over. And talk about displaying a never-say-die attitude. It was as if winning was the only option here tonight. Guys, it sounds like we can all agree that was an extremely impressive win. That was quick. Peyton Royce. How many? We have? I got five. All right. After this tower, win, lose, or draw, uh, this will be the last one because I think we're reaching an hour. I'll have to write down what this tower's name is so I can do like a a slash type of deal tower. The Iconics. Byron, it just became iconic. I know, I see it on the front. And her opponent from Sydney, Australia. Yeah. Peyton Royce. Byron, I was back in the locker room area earlier today and I heard Peyton Royce imitating you. Imitating me? It was an unbelievable impersonation. She does great impressions. Spot on, Byron Saxton. Oh, and by the way, she also handles her business inside the ring. A student of Lance Storm. Peyton Royce is absolutely incredible. Look at her, Byron. Yeah, I can see her. Beautiful and deadly. A true. The time for talk is over. We'll find out who the best is in the ring right now. I am so excited this moment is finally here. When you have competitors on the oh, level man. of these women, you just know it's going to be a great match. Uh, man, you can close your mouth now, laugh out loud. With the knee now. Drop down. Ow. Uh-oh. Hit and Royce. Drop down. My leapfrog. Leapfrog. Spear. Spear. It's over. It's now over. that got those shoulders on the mat. And Alexa Bliss gets out of the pinfall. Not yet. Too early. Alexa Bliss has plenty of championship reigns to her name, but she's done it at the uh, expense of many reverse? former friends she's left in her wake. Oh, boo-hoo, friends. You know what championships get you? More money. You know what more money can buy? More friends. Every friendship Bliss ended was a brilliant move. I wonder we're not friends. She's looking wobbly, guys. And I assure you the hazards outside the ring are very, very real. This is a bad situation. You guys discussed Bliss's broken friendships before, and I have to list them out. She dumped Blake and Murphy on NXT, she disrespected Mickey James after bringing her to SmackDown, and she only used Nia Jax on Raw. Saxton, you fail to see the common thread for every superstar you just mentioned. Each one of them should be grateful that Bliss brought them fame and fortune. It's not her fault. They could hold their end of the bargain without the goddess. Without the goddess. What a punch! And Alexa Bliss heads for the top rope. Oh, oh yeah, what you mean? The cover. You're not gonna get her that easy. She's still in this one. Now I can tell it's real bad. That's perfectly placed. And how you land the big strike. Oh, oh my god, surfboard leg breaker. Look at her go. She's starting to feel the pressure. Her opponent. Insult to injury. I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. Here comes Alexa Bliss. Twisting Bliss. 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 She is just so dominant. 
Shoulders on the mat. She kicks out. Yeah, it's going to take more than that. This is some great offense by Alexa Bliss. I don't think anyone expected Alexa Bliss would win the SmackDown Women's Championship at TLC 2016. Well, anyone besides Alexa Bliss. But Bliss prevails, beating Becky Lynch for the title in a tables match. I totally knew that was going to happen. <laughs> Alexa Body. Bliss looking stymied. Body. When she agreed to this match, she knew this wasn't going to be easy. You know, she's the kind of competitor that actually likes getting hit. Spear again. It motivates her. And this might just be what she needs to put her over the top, believe it or not. Byron Bush really shocked the world she's when she jumping, beat Becky she's because jumping, her table's right, match without a surprise. Normally it takes three seconds to win a match, but a quick power bomb through a table made history. What a comeback. Yo, what the... Uh, okay. Is that a thing? Oh, that's the thing for her. Okay. Peyton Royce's career is just getting started, guys. I'd say she has already accomplished a great deal, including being named the... What's Peyton Royce about to make happen? What's this, the three amigos? Oh, boy. What is yeah. Alexa Bliss's best strategy at this point? She definitely doesn't want to absorb much more punch. Perfect! Now, she just needs <laughs> to finish her off. And Alexa back. Bliss gets out of the pinfall. Gonna take a whole lot more. I, why it says either too late or uh -oh, whatever else, and it's not even like showing either. So like I'm hitting the reversal button, and it's not even showing. It's not even like responding. There's no you don't. Come on. There's okay. a pin now. One. No. This battle's not nope. over yet. She's still in this one. Nope. 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 Come on outside, stupid. <laughs> That is not what I wanted to do. Both these superstars appear to be operating on fumes here, guys. Four. Bringing it back into the ring. And Alexa Bliss heads for the top rope. Can she fly? <laughs> she goes for the cover. King and out of that may have used up her last bit of energy. Alexa Bliss is getting, well, mad. Vicious assault. No, not the surfboard again. No, no. She's going for the knee now. Ah, she's just like, yeah, whatever. She is on fire. Oh, Alexa Bliss may have it. And two from the goddess with insult to injury. That's how you put an exclamation. Oh no, she's in a bad way now. That's it. That's what she needed. One. But now can Alexa two, Bliss capitalize? Three. You can put this one in the bank. Little Miss Bliss. Here is your winner, Alexa Bliss. That was a big pinfall victory right there. Few things are more rewarding than that feeling of keeping your opponent's shoulders down for the three count. I think I can safely speak for all of us when I say that was an amazing contest. Next. Mandy Rose. Oh, God. A TLC. Oh, jeez. This is going to be interesting.
God's greatest creation is here, and I couldn't be more excited. Why does the screen always get so blurry when Mandy Rose comes out here? Because it's like a dream come true, Saxton. Don't talk. Just open your eyes and enjoy. I can't. They're watery. Physical prowess and brash You should worry, lack of a true superstar in WWE. Corey, she's 5'4", but she can lift 225 pounds. I didn't hear a word you just said, Michael Cole. I heard it. That's impressive. She sure loves herself. If I looked like her, I'd love myself, too. <laughs> if I looked like her. Jesus. Here we go. The tables, ladders, and chairs are ready. And so are we. So much can go wrong in a match like this. Guys, which is why it's considered one of the most dangerous in all of WWE. Just a win. She's starting to get on a roll. Huh? That'll have you worrying about long-term injuries for sure. This is some great offense by Alexa Bliss. Thank you. Boing. Takes her off her feet with a tackle. I like the design on the apron with the skulls. Oh boy. Look out. There she goes. Lexi, get up. TLC matches became so popular that WWE established a separate special event named after the match. In 2013, WWE once again made history. This was history that was 50 years in the making. The Viper, Randy Orton, was W... Uh, used R to move the... around the ring. Uh, press R2 to shoot the slider through the gap. Clear all the rings and... Okay. WWE Champion. John Cena was the World Heavyweight Champion. The winner would leave as WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Corey, you mentioned this earlier, but it bears repeating the match had incredible historical significance. The World Heavyweight Championship dates back to the early 1900s. The WWE Championship dates back to 1963. In the first WWE Champion, Nature Boy, Buddy Rogers. There was a big fight feel in Houston, Texas that night. It looked like the Viper was going to win after he handcuffed Cena to the bottom rope, but Cena detached the rope and fought back against Orton. Both oh men God. struggled until the Apex Predator ripped Cena off the ladder, forcing him to land face oh. first on a table. The Viper became yep. immortalized mm -hmm. when he grabbed both historic prizes and became the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Mandy Rose has had a meteoric rise in WWE. In 2015, she was one of many hopefuls aiming for a contract in Tough Enough. In 2016, she appeared on NXT. In 2017, she made her main roster debut on Raw. A year later, she jumped to SmackDown. Michael, you mentioned the rise of Mandy Rose. Uh, yes, she quickly ascended from a WWE hopeful to NXT and then to both brands on the main roster. But she didn't come out of nowhere. She was an award-winning bodybuilder before even joining WWE. Stop. stop, stop talking, guys. You are both doing a terrible job conveying the what majesty the? of God's greatest creation, Mandy Rose. Nobody's had a rise like Mandy because there is no competitor on her level. We have Mandy Rose competing here tonight. Let's talk strategy, Byron. Let me start. Not I'll, right show it. I'll take this goal. There is no strategy when taking on Mandy Rose. She's God's greatest creation. You literally cannot compete with that. Case closed. Question over. Case closed. Question over. Is... What? No well, way. Had no Corey way. Given his uh, unbiased strategy discussion concerning Mandy Rose before. Oh. Byron, you have an answer now. Thank you, Michael. Yeah, Mandy can be defeated, and you need to neutralize her absolution ally, Sonya Deville. Together, they can be tough to beat. You, if you work on them one at a time, it's possible. Run down on my head, damn it. 
just to make sure. Holy shit! Cheryl says, but oh shit! Mandy Rose just too quick. Oh man, she's rolling now. Let's make sure everyone's clear on the rules of a TLC match. There are no pinfalls, no countouts, no disqualifications, and no submissions. The only way to win is to climb the ladder and retrieve the championship or championships that are suspended high above the ring. Yes! Alexa Bliss did it. Here is yeah. your Alexa Bliss. Took it to another level to gain that win. I got a feeling we're going to be talking about her for a long time to come. We may be in New Orleans tonight, but I assure you there was nothing easy about that win right there. Sherelle says, holy shit. And she's talking about me slamming. That was cool, though. I like that. Right through the end. What? Woo woo! Billy K. Normal match. I think that's uh, another one from the. Uh, I think that's her one friend from the Iconics. Australian duo known as the Iconics. And from Sydney, Australia, Billy Kay. Beautiful and dangerous, Billy Kay. Billy Kay Byron wouldn't allow you to breathe the same air she does. Who said I want to hang out with her? It's not really an option, Saxton. Billy Kay exists in a whole world you know nothing about. A world of beauty, a world of danger. Yeah, how about a world of lies and deceit? Billy Kay, extremely beautiful, extremely dangerous. And a real up-and-comer here in WWE. Byron, I talked to Billy Kay about you, and her quote was, he's too dumb to function. Huh? I find that hard to believe. <laughs> Listen, I didn't say it. I was just repeating what I was told by my source. Good journalist. That's too funny. Pinfall or Wait, we're not. This is some great offense by Alexa Bliss. Look at this. She's so dangerous. Insult to injury. Oh, it's over. Oh, man. Billy Kay doesn't even know where she's going. Twitch is Bliss. Bliss. It's heating One. up now. Two. He kicks out at two. She's still in this one. That was crazy. That would have been super funny if she would have not kicked out. Oh, shoulder first. And the ring just shifted. I think the ring just shifted. How, what? That's kind of rude. Corey Graves. Break. Oh, gosh. Uh oh. Now, she's got all the right moves. Does she now? Huh? She's starting to put moves together. Watch out. Put moves together. Watch out. No, uh -oh. not again. Watch out. This uh -oh. is a level of destruction no one was expecting. Joe, get her. Joe, get her. What the? I can't believe what you get it away with. Come on, Rev. This is a great offense by Alexa Bliss. <laughs> she makes it look easy. Hold on. Delivered with force. 
Look at her go. Ouch. Uh-oh. And it's time to gain some agility. And now. Oh, man. Uh. Right to the arm. Hyperextend your elbow. Uh-oh. No, no, no. No, oh, no, you don't. Now you go. And she escapes the submission. Not a lot of people can break out of that one, Michael. What? Can a throw him like that may be reason enough to change your strategy. It's obvious Billy Kay is feeling the pain that has been dealt out so far. He looks dangerously close to losing this match right here, guys. Oh no, Alexa Bliss just got outclassed. Oh no, Alexa Bliss just got outclassed. Well, she Three wants this win. We got to go. One, two. Digging deep for a kick out. She's more durable than she looks, guys. We're looking at complete domination here. And she goes down hard. That'll leave a mark. Again? Jeez. Billy Kay's on Ace the attack feet. now. Here comes Alexa Bliss. And two from the goddess with insult to injury. She's back in full control now. Here comes Alexa Bliss. I'll be shocked if that's not it. Wow, she goes for the cover. Two, three. Yes, unreal performance. Here is your winner, Alexa Bliss. There's no doubt about it. That's a big pinfall win right there. Hey, she was the better woman of the two tonight. It's that simple. The crowd here tonight certainly seemed to appreciate the efforts. What a great match. Oh, lovely. My, my favorite. My favorite one. <laughs> Why? Oh, crap. I don't even know if Alexa Bliss Guts a submission move. <laughs> Be a baby laugh out loud. I know, I'm just saying. Of course, it's gonna be something like that. Paige has carved her own path, blazed her own trail, answered to nobody that she didn't want to. Paige is truly a revolutionary in WWE. That's another thing I like. Guys, remember on Raw a few years ago when Paige made her WWE debut and won the Women's Championship. A truly unforgettable night, not only for Paige, but the entire WWE Universe. Paige has revolutionized the game since that very night. And it was that night where we began. I like that. If they, they say something uh, in their entrance or something, they say it here on the game, too, and in... Like the taunts, like if they taunt me, like Ric Flair goes, Woo! You can feel the electricity. They have like that too. I find that very cool. This is going to be some battle. One on one. Mano a mano. I assure you, making one of these competitors quit will be easier said than done. Now that's the type of move that sends a message to an opponent.
Hey, Bubba. This is some great offense by Alexa Bliss. This is some great offense by Alexa Bliss. Is it? For so fast. Gosh, that's not being tossed. That's more like being propelled. A little bit. Uh-oh. Uh, setting him up in position here on the second row. Look at Paige here. Oh, yeah, here's Paige. Jeez, just kicking me around, why don't you? Blitz, what are you doing? So One, two, three, damaging. Four. Nope. This is some great offense by Alexa Bliss. It's got to be hard to rebound from that one. Oh, this is dangerous right here. Look out! Get a tattoo on the pages now. What a shot to the back. Looks like Paige is in a bit of trouble. She doesn't want to let this get out of control, guys. If she's not careful, this could very easily spiral out of control for her in a hurry. Alexa's just plain scary when she gets going like this. Insult to injury. Can't waste any time here. No, hey, she escapes it. Yeah, I don't know if she had it locked in fully, Michael. Russian leg sweep. And guys, we're seeing Paige in a tough situation. She may very well have reached the point of no return. Her opponent has been absolutely ruthless all night long. Oh God. It's as if Ooh. she refuses to lose here, guys. I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. Here comes Alexa Bliss. Twisting Bliss. Bliss. I don't see Paige coming back from that one. She releases it. Well, that decision may very well come back to haunt her, Cole. Damn it. Ah, she gets out of it. She has renewed life now, Michael. The WWE Mixed Match Challenge made for some strange teams. But perhaps the weirdest duo in the entire tournament was Alexa Bliss and the Monster Among Men, Braun Strowman. Yeah, the WWE. Look out, Alexa Bliss is measuring. She is in two from the goddess with insult to injury. I don't see Paige coming back from that one. That's exactly what Alexa Bliss needed. Saxton even more impressive than Bliss and Braun's size difference. Here comes Alexa Bliss. Twisted Bliss. I don't see Paige coming back from that one. And she escapes the submission. Not a lot of people can break out of that one, Michael. Paige just barely gets out of the way. This is some great offense by Alexa Bliss. We've seen many firsts for women in WWE over the last few years, but Alexa Bliss may have the best one as the first superstar to ever win both the Raw and SmackDown Women's Championship. And Corey, she releases the hold. It's like a questionable decision on paper, but I'm sure she has something up her sleeve here, Cole. 
And that's she not somehow it. breaks free, trip. but you have to wonder how much damage was done. Michael, it's amazing how quickly Alexa became both Raw and SmackDown Women's Champion. She lost the SmackDown Women's Championship in the beginning of April and ended the month beating Bayley for the Raw Women's Championship at Payback. Gentlemen, that win was also great because Bliss beat Bayley in front of the Hoggers' hometown crowd in San Jose. A great night, made even better by seeing a sad underdog losing in front of her friends and family. You just love misery, don't you? Remember when Alexa Bliss made her debut in NXT? Oh, she was such a nice girl. She would throw glitter into the audience and show her acrobatic moves. Yeah, she was like female Byron Saxton. That didn't work well. Look at that, she escapes. Talk about coming up with clutch, guys. Myron, going back in time to Alexa's NXT debut, she may have had her share of fans and a ton of glitter, but she wasn't earning too many wins. I personally think that Bliss was aiming that glitter in the eyes of those dopes sitting at ringside, but she smartly traded that stuff for the shiny stuff that really matters. Women's Championship Gold. How Look at this. She lets her out. She better have a good reason for this, Cole, because she just had her seconds away from tapping. I think. Oh, Alexa Bliss may have it. We're witnessing a level of punishment that can only be described as severe. For some reason, she lets it go. Did you ever stop to think that she might have something else planned here? Targeting the back now. She's too quick for her. And she lands the bulldog. And Paige manages to reverse out of that one. Alexa Bliss jump to Raw has been a textbook example of division dominance. She won the Raw Women's Championship after only 19 days and kept an iron grip on the title for months afterward. Alexa is playing to the crowd instead of handling her business here. Michael, to say Bliss had a monopoly on the Raw Women's Championship is an understatement. She held that title for almost four months and then won the title back just eight days after Sasha Banks beat her at SummerSlam. And her second Raw reign was even better than her first. The Goddess broke Charlotte's record for the longest Raw Women's Championship reign with an impressive run of over 100 70 days. Look at her go. And Corey, she releases the hold. Looks like a questionable decision on paper, but I'm sure she has something. Well done. I don't see Paige coming back from that one. That's exact insult to injury. I don't see Paige coming back from that one. That's exactly what Alexa Bliss needed. She escapes it. Yeah, I don't know if she had it locked in fully, Michael. Clearly on a mission here. She somehow breaks free, but you have to wonder how much damage was done. When it comes to psyching out the competition, there may be no superstar better at it than Alexa Bliss. Well, perhaps with the exception of Bailey. This is your life. Look, did Alexa Bliss's takedown of Bailey match Mick Foley's ode to the Not right? Not exactly, but it did do the trick of getting in Bailey's head ahead of their match at Extreme Rules. This is some great offense by Alexa Bliss.
And she's back in the ring now. Well, that rocked her all right. That time. She wanted her opponent to tap, and she got it. Yeah. Here is your winner, Alexa Bliss. Once it was locked in, there was no question that this one was over. That's the kind of win that makes you feel good about yourself. What a match that was, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining us. It only took you 10 years, Laugh Out Loud. I know, right? Like, jeez. Four and a half stars. All right, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for the night. Thank you all for stopping by this late broadcast of these towers. I'm thinking about doing these over the weekend, maybe. Let me guys, let me know in the comments below if you guys are enjoying these. And we will get back to, um, what's it called? My career tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. And I'd like to give a shout out to a good friend of mine and that's in the chat right now. And she's a mod of mine. Sure, L1590. She's playing Shadow of the Tomb Raider, which is a really good game. Good graphics. Like, ugh. The storyline is phenomenal. It is great. Just, yeah. So go check her out. And I would like to say hello to all the new people out there who have subscribed and fanned me up on here. And welcome to the Chaos Asylum. So share this video, leave a comment, hit the like button. If you haven't done it already, smash that subscribe button and the like button. And always remember to take care and spike your hair. Later, guys.